Hey, what is going on YouTube? Hey, Ron here. We are back on the Mac, boys. We have another ship spotted in testing for you guys. The Tier 7 Kirasami appears to be a Japanese Tier 7 destroyer. Um, this ship was actually spotted a while ago, and I wanted to mention uh, I wanted to mention that and also yesterday's video. I know a few people are like, oh, sorry to see you go, blah, blah, blah. I'm not quitting Legends, guys. I'm not not going to stop, stop making content. Um, I'm also not going to stop streaming. I'm just taking a little break. Um, last night, I actually sat at the menu of the game kind of, you know, I was like, you know, I'll stream one more time. And I just sat there at the menu for like an hour. Um, so a little burnout. And this is not like, a lot of people, some are like, well, you hate wargaming and, uh, and, and and some people take it like that. No, I just I just want a little more from wargaming. And they already do a lot. And, and an example of this, the reason I wanted to bring this up, and this is a great example. This ship was spotted a year and a half ago. Uh, Mr. Chili himself posted some clickbait. It was found in a stream and it was... Uh, just kind of sitting there, you know, shaded out uh, in the port. So the feedback from this was, uh, you know, similar to this. I know a lot of us want to tear, you know, and I'm, I don't know who this user is, but uh, I'm going to paraphrase our words. I know a lot of us wanted a tier seven premium DD, but I don't think we wanted another IJN DD. So this was about the time or around the time or the Udachi was still prevalent is what I'm trying to say there. Um, the And at this time there was barely any legendary tier and, um, Diodachi was ruling tier seven because people didn't know how to counter it. People sat in, you know, their battleship at the back and these 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 IJN uh, torp boats went around them and just torped them. Um, so since then, Yudachi is a lot less powerful and I think people have adapted to the gameplay. So, um, but to, to Wargaming's credit, to bring this full circle, they removed or, or they, they held the ship out um, because I'm assuming it's going to be a similar play style and also because we didn't have that many premium tier seven destroyers at the time. Now, since we've gotten a, a bunch and, and even more, and like I said, I'm, I, this is probably not the ship I would add personally, but uh, here, here we are. So I actually could not find it in the tech tree on the World of Warships, or the World of Warships PC uh, wiki, but um, we did find it on um, Wikipedia. It is actually a modern destroyer. I don't think it's gonna be a modern destroyer. It could be. Um, but this ship doesn't, it doesn't look like it has any torpedoes, but this is the, the Kurosami in real life. Um, so maybe a mix of the two people have wanted modern destroyers, but, um, you can read about it here. I'll link this down below. So yeah, that ship was spotted. It could be, if, if you look at it, it looks pretty similar to the other Japanese. This is the Yukikaze and this is the Udachi here. So it looks, it looks fairly similar. I don't know why this person drew this half highlighted line, but whatever. Um, thank you for your, <laughs> for your image. Um, so yeah, that ship was spotted in testing. Expect it either this update or next. Be careful of it. it it's probably going to have medium to long range torps that do a lot of damage and are rather, you know, maybe not the most stealthy, but rather stealthy and move fairly quickly. Japanese torpedoes um, are, are just deadly. Um, now, a lot of people have hypothesized that this ship is going to be a hybrid gunboat and torp boat. So maybe not the most gruesome torps, but also a lot of people underestimate the guns of Japanese destroyers. I, I can't tell you how many times I've seen Shimakaze players not shoot at a, a ship with 2,000 health and drop their torpedoes and, and trade uh, instead of shooting their guns. The alpha strike on a lot of the Japanese guns, uh, especially from their torp boats, do a lot of damage. The problem is the reload. So if this ship has a little bit slower reload, um, you know, or faster, I guess faster reload, a, a little bit better reload, then this ship could be very dangerous at the tier. So just keep an eye on that. I want to give you guys a heads up. Uh, I know a lot of people want me to do tutorials and things like that. I'm also going to start explaining different ships because part of the, the um, you know, the f some of the feedback yesterday was like, well, you only play in divisions and you know that, which is just a load of garbage, you know, more, more clowns commenting, but uh, we've done tutorials solo so many times. Um, they just kind of get lost, you know, over the, you know, when I keep posting new videos, they get lost in there. So we're going to be doing some more tutorials. I'm not quitting Legends. I'm not uh, hating on Wargaming. I'm just pointing out how I feel about the game. And it's it's very apparent with 200 likes and a 97% like ratio that a lot of people are feeling the same. So just giving you guys a heads up of that play style and the ship, what to, what to watch out for as it was spotted in testing. So um, yeah, appreciate you guys. I Like I said, I'm not leaving. And uh, yeah, everyone have a great day. I'm out. Peace.